in situations where you have to have a voice and you have to make sure that your voice is being heard um, you have to obviously up your game so that every time you speak you're speaking something that everybody wants to hear and you have to be good at your job and those are the the ways that you're able to sit even in a room of men who either have biases or not and still be able to have a voice regardless of who you are. My name is Wamoyo. I am a carpenter and a designer. I design and make furniture. Uh, my background is interior design. Um, so naturally I was drawn to the furniture process and then throughout my career trajectory, I ended up working in furniture companies and somehow my path was already cut out for me. Um, and eventually I opened my own workshop and that's how I ended up being like, this is what I do for a living. What gives me joy is being in a workshop and the smell of wood and the noise of the tools. Um, that's something that I wake up looking forward to because I think wood is a beautiful material and I think um, what comes out of it is, is something that is beautiful to see every day, um, the process of coming from raw wood to designing and making a beautiful piece of furniture. So that's, that's always exciting and it's something I enjoy doing. People in my personal space are actually very supportive. Um, they make a joke that um, they shouldn't ask me any other question. Or if I make a mistake, they'd be like, like they, they joke about that and um, so they, they appreciate um, my craft and my company is actually named after my grandmother um, because she, she has been like an, a support system um, like beyond um, what I could even ask for. Like she stored up um, trucks of wood for years waiting for me to be able to pick them up. So um, I have a wonderful support system and um, they encourage me to do whatever it is. Even if it was in carpentry, I'd still be able to pursue anything that I feel is in my path. It's, it's interesting um, that um, my entire office team is women intentionally because um, most of the people that are able to do the work well are men. So I have an office team of women um, trying to manage a full team of men and it's always, um, initially it was difficult because um, they'd probably not think that you know what to do but over time um, we've rounded up a team of men that um, see you as an authority and listen and are willing to give input and maybe even correct you, um, but there's, we've gotten to a place where um, we're almost um, at the same level and they don't feel like because I'm a woman, um, I, I can't tell them what to do or I, c I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to now the work that I assign them or the projects that I ask them to change or the quality of work that I expect them to produce. So we have a level of mutual respect as teammates and that's, that's beautiful to, to have as a team. Initially, and even now, um, with, with the people that are outside of the, of the space, um, they, 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 like I had an example where someone came in um, and they asked to speak to the boss and um, I told them, the boss is not around, is there something I can help you with? And they were like, um, I'm looking for a job, um, but just here's my number. When the boss comes in, please tell them I came by and um, this is my number. They can call me to give me a job. And I was like, okay, fine. Um, I will let you know when the boss is in. Um, so the next day he came and somehow I think he had found out that I was a boss and now he was like, Sabari, madam, um, do you have work that I can do? Um, so that's just one of the ways that um, they come in thinking you're a secretary or they come in and they think that maybe you're just somebody who does office work, but then eventually they realize that you're the, actually what, the one driving the team and uh, most of the time they're shocked. I think if you're passionate about something, um, 
there shouldn't be any gender um like roles in terms of work and what you enjoy doing i think everybody should get an opportunity to wake up and do work that they love and work that they enjoy and whatever that is um there shouldn't be any limits to what you can do um or what what you want to do as long as it's something that you're passionate and you love then you should pursue it with everything that you have um and i think what gave me the confidence to even move into carpentry is um already as an interior designer I'd sit in um boardrooms with architects and contractors and just surrounded by male people and being in situations where you have to have a voice and you have to make sure that your voice is being heard um you have to obviously up your game so that every time you speak you're speaking something that everybody wants to hear and you have to be good at your job and those are the the ways that you're able to sit even in a room of men who either have biases or not and still be able to have a voice regardless of who you are